This homecoming weekend at the University of Arkansas this weekend. Celebrations now underway, marking the school's 150th anniversary. 5 News reporter Zoe Henry takes a closer look at all the events. That's right, homecoming is back, and as you can see behind me, Glow Red Friday is in full effect here at the stadium. Students and fans are more than excited for the return of homecoming. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, last fall the streets were empty. No homecoming floats, no cheering, just silence. Uh, this year is night and day difference uh, compared to last year. Obviously, we're going through COVID at its peak. Uh, we're very thankful, though, that we get to have somewhat of, you know, the, the normal experience back. You know, at least seeing half the faces, whereas back, you know, last yeah. year we could only see it on the screen. So, like you said, just having alumni come back, you know, and always so they could reminisce on their days and how they say, oh, you know, it's so different than how it was back <laughs> in the day. So, you know, just hearing our alumni stories is just, it's just great. Yep. This year, everything is almost back to normal. The parade was back on. And some of U of A students enjoyed their first in-person homecoming week. Since it is our first homecoming, uh, you know, we've been having a great season so far. Hopefully get another win. Um, it's been a blast this season, so I mean, we just got to keep it up. To kick off the weekend, there were several events Friday, including the homecoming parade, pantry drive, unity house tour, and of course, the homecoming pep rally at the Greek Theater. with this like the guys at Kappa Sigma say woo pig suey in anticipation for tomorrow's game in Fayetteville covering news where you live Zoe Henry 5 News. Now tomorrow morning want to remind you of this 5 News has a special kickoff show ahead of the Razorback game with Auburn. It's airing tomorrow morning at 1030 right here on Channel 5 of course ahead of the CBS airing of the game. It'll start that starts at 11 o'clock. Of course you can watch both right here on Channel 5.